Good morning, everybody. So today what you're going to do at home is you're going to go ahead and choose a room, any room you want in your house and measure it. Why? Because it's important to know measurements in order to purchase materials. Like for example, right here, if I wanted to carpet the master bedroom, I would have to know the area, the length and the width. If I wanted to paint the ceiling of the master be uh, bathroom and bedroom, I would have to know the area of everything. What if I wanted to add in, let's say, uh, the dining room? I wanted to add a chair rail, although this dining room doesn't lead itself to it because it's a pretty open plan, but what, let's go to a bedroom. What if in a bedroom I wanted to put in a chair rail? Well, I would have to know the perimeter. So it's very important to accurately measure. So today what you need to be successful is a pencil, a piece of paper, preferably a piece of graph paper, uh, tape measure, yardstick, and a ruler. One of the two or one of the three will be helpful. Obviously, tape measure probably is the most helpful out of everything. Just a note today, you're going to round to the nearest inch, so there are no half inches, but to the nearest inch. And we want to make sure all of our um, measurements are in architectural units. So if, if the ceiling is 8 foot 11 inches, it's 8 apostrophe dash 11 um, parenthesis. So the first thing you're going to do is pick out a room. And once you pick out a room, you're going to go ahead and sort of draw out the shape of it. You could use a ruler right now. I'm just sketching it out. You could easily just sketch it out because this isn't a formal drawing. So that's the shape of my room. Now using a tape measure, I'm going to go ahead and find the length and the width of each or the length of each wall. I'm not asking you to do height today. We're just going to do the length of the wall. Then after you've done that, you are going to go ahead and mark in, and in this case I'm using a pencil because it's erasing, but I'm going to go ahead and put in a door. So this is where a door is in my room, and this is where a window sort of is in my room. What a window looks like and what a door looks like, you could just put a couple of different shapes in there. And then you are going to... Uh, record the width of all the doors and all the windows. So I would find the measurement of this. I find the measurement of this. I've already, by the way, found the measurement of this. Then you're going to go ahead, write in um, the name of the room. You could even say my bedroom. This isn't my bedroom, but that is just for example. You are then to go ahead and write your name at the bottom or upper right, wherever, wherever I could see it together is fine. I know in the instructions I say the upper right. And then what you need to do is you need to take a high quality picture of this. By the way, the one thing I probably should go back and say is you do need to measure. Now in the instructions I say measure from the center of the door or window to the wall. If you want, you could always just measure this smaller distance too, in case if you don't want to do middle to the wall. All right. All right. Have a, have a go at it. We'll see you soon. Adios.